Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our NFL Week 4 preview between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Denver Broncos. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Eagles. Offensively this week for the Philadelphia Eagles going against the Denver Broncos, I can see the Eagles moving the football up and down the field versus Denver and even putting the ball in the end zone. The question will be, can they protect the football? Can they stop shooting themselves in the foot, not only in the red zone, but early in the ball game? This is a team that could be sitting at 3-0 if they were able to tie up the loose ends. Now defensively, when you look at what they bring to the table, they do have a lot of speed, they do have a lot of athleticism, but they have to execute better. And when you play a team like the Denver Broncos, if you're not executing at an 80 to 85 to 90 percent level you're going to lose this ball game so this defense will have to play fast they're going to have to execute and they're going to have to get these guys off the field on third downs now let's move over to the Broncos in this ball game and offensively speaking for Denver they're going to have to attack the deep middle of the field versus the Philadelphia Eagles who have some question marks at the safety position not with a lack of talent but with the lack of execution so I think the middle of the field is where Peyton Manning can find some success this week and on defense I look at what they can do to stop the run it's all about anchoring down on the edges and getting penetration on the interior so when you look at guys like Vickerson and company they're gonna have to have an encore performance we'll talk about that later but that's how they stop the run box everything in and force these guys to play downhill and they can have some success this week versus the Eagles. One of the staples of the Broncos passing game is the quick screen and if the Eagles are going to have some success versus Denver they're going to have to stop that quick screen immediately and here's how you can play the quick screen. This is what teams want to do when they're running this quick screen to the wide receiver. They bring the wide receiver down here to make the play. They try to use a slot guy to kick out this cornerback and they're trying to block man up on the defensive end, get him blocked head on. You want to have the center walk out and try to uh, peel back on this linebacker that's going to be flowing. And you want the play side guard to lead the receiver up, creating the alley. Obviously, for the Eagles, you want to eliminate the alley. So you have to play this inside out. You have to force this guy's... You got to push him inside as well You got you, as the cornerback. You can't allow yourself to get block, blocked. You squeeze in the alley. You don't want this alley to be like this. You want the alley to be like this. You want to create a, a mosh posh of, of chaos right there. But the only way you can create that, that whole chaos of bodies right there at the line of scrimmage is by squeezing the alley. Right now the alley is huge. You squeeze it. Play inside out. Don't allow yourself to get reach blocked. Push those guys in, that way you'll be able to bottle up that screen and effectively shut it down for no more than a two-yard gain. The Broncos already do a great job of taking advantage of the numbers advantage at the line of scrimmage. And I'm a big fan of running weak side. I think an offense always has the advantage running weak side with numbers. And here's how the Broncos can have the counterplay work weak side versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Now what we're going to have here, you see the strong side formation, you have one, two, three, four guys, strong side. Weak side, you have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So you have the numbers advantage here. So what we're going to do, we're going to kick out this five technique. How we're going to do it, we're going to work the backside tackle, the play side tackle up to the linebacker. We're going to have combo blocks by the center and guard on the nose with the guard working up to get that linebacker block. We're going to pull around the guard, kick out this five technique like we said. We're going to work the fullback in the hole to block that linebacker. Take your counter step, run the daylight, big on big on this side. So you see how effective you can be running those weak side counters versus a team like the Eagles that want to fly up the field. So what you're going to see, you're going to see this guy fly up the field, take himself out the play, creating the lane for the fullback to get up and block this outside backer and allowing the tackle to get up there and get the inside linebacker blocked. So I think the Broncos can have some success in the running game running this weak side counter versus the Eagles 3-4 defense. The X Factor for the Eagles in this matchup will be the little things. They have to protect the football. They can't shoot themselves in the foot. They can't have those mental mistakes versus a team that excels in execution like the Denver Broncos. The X Factor for the Broncos in this matchup will be their front seven. Can they stop the run? If you can't stop what the Eagles bring to the table running the football, then you won't stop whatever they're trying to do offensively. So the front seven of the Broncos have to have an encore performance this week versus the Philadelphia Eagles. 
Now, here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game. For Philadelphia, you can't beat yourself. We talked about that earlier. The little things really mean a lot in the big picture. Turnovers, penalties, all those things have to cease if you want to beat the Broncos. And you want to shrink this ball game with tempo. What I like most about the Eagles is the fact they get to the line fast. They have a lot of time on the play clock, but they can also run the football. So they can play up-tempo ball control if that makes sense. And I would shrink this ball game to give that defense a lot of rest to get back out there and make stops versus the Broncos offensive attack. And you want to play fast defensively. The one thing that beats a team going against the Denver Broncos is a defense that's hesitant, a defense that's thinking out there on the field. Make mistakes at 100 miles an hour, but you want to be aggressive out there versus Peyton Manning. And for the Broncos in this game, I would go with more of a cloud coverage versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And cloud coverage is when you have your cornerbacks responsible for the flats and your safety responsible for the deep pass. And I think they have the athleticism in the secondary to pull this off and be successful. And I would have flushed Michael Vick to the right. He's a left-handed quarterback. And this is obvious football. You flush a guy opposite of what he wants to throw, and you have a better chance of getting an inaccurate pass and also getting a stop. And the linebackers must take chances versus the run. Same with the Eagles. A lot of times when people play Philadelphia, they want to wait and guess and then attack. You have to attack on the fly. Make your decisions on the move, and that way you can have a chance to stop in the run. I like the Broncos in this ball game. I think this is a team that mirrors Philadelphia offensively. They put a lot of pressure on your defense. They put a lot of pressure on your endurance. And they also put a lot of pressure on you to execute offensively. The difference is the fact that the Broncos actually protect the football. They don't beat themselves. And it's all about trust in the game of football. And that's why I can trust the Broncos to take care of business versus the Eagles. Although the Eagles do have the offense to keep pace, but they don't have the defense to get off the field and make stops. So I look for the Broncos to win this one at home. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Bronco Fan Forums and Eagle Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.